Hey everybody and welcome to my world with Nat. I hope you have an incredible day. Um, I'm here today really to talk about one topic and one topic only, all things shipping. Now this is a popular topic that's coming up more and more because people um, are watching others and they see that uh, there are infinite possibilities of what can be done. So if I take you down on our journey, when we decided to do this in January of 2021, I contacted a local uh, moving company that I knew did international shipping and got him to come over and give us sort of like a quote on what it would cost to move certain items that we had. And at the time we were thinking of moving like our office uh, desks, office chairs, maybe our mattresses, because we really like those mattresses. Um, but as the things got added into the container, the cost went up. And at that time, we were looking at about a $10,000 cost to have a few things um, brought down here to the DR. So we got, we, we let go of that plan. And that's when we decided to really, you know, declutter and minimalize. So we were left with, after we moved, and we gave away a lot of our furniture, sold furniture, we actually were left with 43 boxes. So that is one way. We decided to come down with our suitcases. So we had nine pieces plus our backpacks um, or handbag in my case. And that's all we came. And we decided if we need anything, uh, we'll find it here, you know, because you can pretty much find anything that you need here. I mean, unless it's something very, very, very specific, you can pretty much get anything that you need here. So as we move forward and I met more people who were shipping things, uh, because some people who have decided to come here on a, on a very permanent basis, they decided we're going to ship our items down, some of our favorite things. And these are families who, um, who have either bought a home who are building a home and they know that these things are going to go into their future homes. Um, people have sent anywhere from five to 15 to 20 barrels of items. And um, I'm from the Montreal area, so I use the local shipping company. We tried it out in the late fall. We sent one barrel down with some of our favorite food items. We sent down uh, Christmas presents, um, Christmas items. Um, people sent things for our, our daughter and we tried that out. So the barrel was delivered at a $30 cost and then they picked it up and they shipped it for, if I'm not mistaken, $165. And in that barrel, we had pretty much anything and um, there's no weight restriction, which is the beautiful thing. So what I do is with when I, when I work with clients, I actually... Um, have created this spreadsheet that they can use to, I'm going to show it to you right now. So I have this spreadsheet that you can use and the drop down will allow you to pick the items as you go through. And there's three columns. So before, you know, to do before we leave. So these are things that you have to take care of. This here would be, what am I going to bring on the plane? What am I going to ship in a contain? Um, what am I going to um, ship? This is more like the barrels. And then if you're going to have um, a container sent down, what are you going to do? So that's just one of the tools that I use with clients so that they feel like there's some clarity in the things that they need to bring down when they leave. Now, following this video, you're going to see two separate clips um, of a couple that arrived here about three months ago and they had some barrels shipped down to them and they just shared a little bit of what, what they did to make it easier. So you're going to see uh, they comment throughout the video on, on what they did and I felt like it was kind of important to share that their experience and how it went because um, it seems that some of the barrels do get opened by customs and they get dumped out and they sort of look through them to see what there is, make sure everything's okay, because you can't send down anything over a $200 limit, a $200 price tag, especially when it comes to electronics. So they're, you know, they look for those things and they don't necessarily put everything back in the most tidy and neat way. So Jen and Daryl actually give a few tips on what you can do to do that. So know that um, anything is possible. 
You just have to decide what is right for you and your family. Um, if you're coming short term, then I would probably recommend that you only bring the things that you need in your suitcase. Um, and you're going to wear a lot of the same things because it's hot. So that's where that, that I, those things get recycled. If you're thinking of coming for a bit of a longer time and you do want some of the comforts from home, you know, one of the things that we had sent down was our, um, air fryer. We missed it. Um, and we also got one of our cast iron pans back that my best friend sent in the barrel. So that was a really great treat to get, um, and yeah, and you can do special barrels if you want, right, for the different seasons. Um, and then if you are coming for a longer term, then you can send more than one barrel. Um, I'm actually going to be visiting a storage facility this week to see what that looks like, where people, where you can store those barrels while, when you're here um, until your home is built or, um, or, or you, need, you need those items, right? So check out the videos next and let me know what you think in the comment. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell so that you get notified for, um, for the next video that comes out. Whatever you choose to do today, have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye now. Hey Natalie, how's it going? Just so you know, we're taking a video for you quick. Uh, something that we found out before we shipped was that at customs, they're dumping the barrels. So we're just going to do a quick video here to show you some of the things that we brought. Hey Natalie. Okay, so what we did was we put all of our creams and stuff into Ziploc bags just in case that they opened or spilled during transport. So that was helpful to us. Um, we also put all our little bits into bags. So I think that when they dumped the barrels, putting the stuff back in the barrels was a lot easier and a lot of stuff didn't get lost. Uh, if you come over here, Eli just added Lego container or Lego kit. And so I took his Lego set out and just placed them in Ziploc bags over here on the floor and labeled every single one so it was easy and we could put it in all the little um, holes that were in the barrels between items so that we could use up all the space. Another thing that we did that was really helpful um, was we took our clothing and folded it all up and put it in these vacuum seal bags that I got at the dollar store. We suctioned all the air out of the vacuum bag, thus making it take up less space. Um, Daryl will get to that once he's over here. Um, also, there's we used some of these larger bags to put a bunch of items. That definitely made it easier for them in customs and kept our items together. So that was definitely uh, helpful to all involved, I guess you could say. And I'm just trying to figure out if there's anything else. Well, she can help you. So, yeah, so we got a lot of toy stuff for Eli, uh, things for like our backyard. We're gonna, when we have get our house for the pool, um, like right over here, there's a box somewhere buried under here. It's got basketball nets for the pool. Um, just a lot of things. We probably have too many clothes hangers, but probably not. I don't think we're gonna use, uh, dressers here like back home so clothes hangers are probably a good thing for people to bring um like we're gonna have our walking closets and stuff but yeah so pretty much everything that we brought was i th for the most part i think we did really good on this it's just a lot of we brought a lot of clothes a lot of christmas stuff a lot of things that we're gonna use every day like jen has like three things of coffee we have our dog shampoos we have um, dog, food. dog food. We brought lots of dog food because our dog's on a special diet and can only eat one food because of allergy issues, really severe allergy issues. Um, we got shaving cream, shoes. deodorant shoes. You know, we brought some of Eli's favorite Annie's craft dinner from Costco. Uh, tennis balls for the dogs. They go through them like crazy. Uh, Listerine. Jen brought her Margaritaville over there. Uh, we got our, this is our, some of our pool stuff to go into the pool. Basically we just and, brought stuff that we didn't have time to use at home, but always wanted to use. And now we can use it since we have more time. Yeah. And like we have uh, some outdoor activities. Like this is, this is a ball thing that our ball goes on it and you, two people whack it and around and you try to get it to the top or bottom, depending on what side you're on. So just a lot of outdoor games and stuff like that. Um, brought a TV antenna. I got it for free from work. So I'm gonna try it out here, see, see if we get any channels with it. 
If not, not a big deal. We got Costco lights that we uh, brought from for our backyard. Jen's got her coffee maker. Jen's really and, excited to find a dustpan. And she found a dustpan because the ones here are Just brutal. Just don't ever really pick up the <laughs> That's a bug zapper right there. So I think we did, I think for us, we did actually pretty good. Um, like I said to you before, see there's a barrel full of dog food that's veterinarian grade for our dog. Um, then just a lot of Christmas stuff, you know, some first aid stuff. Um, like I said, I think we did really good with this. I know we got a lot. Um, Eli's got a lot of Lego. I think most of these barrels are empty. More Christmas lights. We got Christmas trees. Jen's a big, big on Christmas. Like I love Christmas too, but Jen really loves Christmas. It's the really one, special. it's special to her and she wanted to be, feel like at home when we did Christmas. So we did ship a lot of Christmas stuff down here just so she can feel like home. Oh, there's but tools I, in here. I got some tools. I brought some tools down. I didn't bring a lot of tools down, but I brought, you know, some basic tools like, uh, Handsaw, um, measuring taper, screwdrivers, hammers, and just some basic stuff. Not ever, it didn't go crazy. Uh, I definitely gonna miss my tool shed back home. But yeah, I think we did good. That's oh yeah, and we brought workout stuff, stuff to work out. Like this right here is our. It's like a punching bag. They call it Century Bob. It's pretty cool. So then we got Eli's jujitsu stuff with his pads and stuff. And then just dog stuff, you know, cups that we liked back home that we used all the time. Um, like some of these are from like Universal Studios, same thing here. Uh, Bible, lint rolls for the dogs. Uh, I think this is Jen's coffee grinder. She's pretty excited about that because we got some fresh, we got some Starbucks beans. But yeah, overall, I think we did pretty good. Um, I think that's Lord of the Beans, but yeah, overall, I think we did pretty good. Um, I think that's Lord of the Rings and our, well, we never opened it, but I guess we'll open it here. But yeah, I think we did pretty good. I don't, I don't see too much stuff that we can't use. Like I got a dartboard there. The box was kind of damaged, but thankfully the dartboard wasn't. Um, yeah. Okay. Think that's about it, but yeah, I definitely recommend bags because then they can just pull them out, and if they're dumping the barrels and that, they can just pull out the whole bag, and it's not getting all over the place and damaged and stuff. We had one thing broken, which was kind of sad. I'll show you that. But there's some workout ropes, medicine balls. Oh yeah, tons of shoes, mostly gems. You females, I tell you. Uh, so we brought our Ninja, so it's got all our stuff with it. Uh, unfortunately, this broke. I'm going to see if I can uh, do something to put it somewhat back together and, until we can get a replacement when Jen's parents get down here. But yeah, it was pretty good. I think we did really good.